Hey everybody, if you're wondering what's going on here, I'm actually on a camping trip with my brother, so probably not going to do a lot of uh, video with dialogue, so, <laughs> but at the moment he's gone off on a trip there, he wanted to, really wanted to check out an antique shop, and I'm not into antique shops, so I decided to stay back at the campground here and uh, hang out here, so, but yeah, he just saw us uh, do a hike up Mount Olga, and talked up to the uh, fire tower up there, which is right here at the campground, this is Molly Stark State Park, and we're just out here for a few days. He wanted to go on a trip with me, so I figured, oh, why not? Go someplace where uh, we have some stuff to hear for, where he might find interesting. So, again, now we're just going to spend some time uh, exploring the campground and that, so. Probably going to do a little campground tour video. So, and anything else we see of interest along the way. So I talked to the campground host uh, while we were there, and he told me about this abandoned trail that was out in the woods that led to the CCC built uh, nature center. The building would have been used like a little museum type thing. So my brother and I set out to try and find it. We did find that little bridge out there. That was actually part of the trail. That was actually came off of an area that was just being used as a maintenance area. But then we kind of lost sight of the trail after that, unfortunately. We did follow an area there that went between two of those really old stone walls. And by the way, there are a lot of these old stone walls out in the woods here. Uh, there's tons of them, so. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, we're, we, we were never able to find the nature center or the uh, even the trail for that matter. He also said there's a lot of other artifacts, old cemeteries, things like that out there too. And it's just, we, I don't know, we didn't find any of it. Uh, he, he, the, the, the campground host there, he said he found a lot of these places uh, while the place was uh, early spring, probably... Uh, before the campground officially opened while well, he was there helping set up, things like that, so before a lot of the vegetation grew in, so I just didn't see it. He did say he was going to try to get out there with the weed whacker at some point, but it didn't happen before we left. But it was interesting though, especially those two stone walls that kind of went parallel to each other. We just followed along with those and found this weird clearing out in the woods where uh, an area was the, the trees were cut down in that spot and then just left there. I'm not really sure what that was about either. So there's some interesting stuff out there. Uh, definitely gives me an excuse to come back at some point and do some exploring. But anyway, with that, hope everybody enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And remember, slow down and enjoy life. And I guess we're going to come back again at some point and do some more exploring with less vegetation. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.